<laughs> okay, you guys, it's actually Sunday night that I'm starting this vlog. I mean, I kind of already got a couple clips from the weekend, but I just wanted to vlog one clip before we get into the week. I went to my very first Nets game, <laughs> maybe last since I'm moving, but it was also a Blazers game because the Blazers were playing here. And you guys, I said in my last vlog when I talked about how I wanted to go um, that the Blazers were not doing so well. Um, but they actually won and it was such a good game. Like honestly, it was back and forth, like neck and neck. It went into overtime, they were tied, and then the Blazers pulled it out. So I was proud. This is my full outfit. I just wore a black t-shirt and jeans. And I wore tennis shoes with it because I want to be comfy. I feel like I my voice is relapsing, which is really bad. I'm gonna rest my voice the rest of the night. I already kind of cleaned my apartment earlier, but I'm just gonna do a little bit more cleanup and in the kitchen, um, make some dinner and have an early night so I can start off my week refreshed. Let's get into it. See you tomorrow. basic human struggle to get what we need in life can sometimes get so intense it's like we develop this antagonistic relationship with the world around us and this changes how we relate to everything okay about you guys oh, fuck. uh this is the first time i'm like actually trying to speak and it's not happening it's not working i sound terrible i'm making coffee right now so hopefully that helps I don't know what happened. I truly don't. I lost my voice, as we know, when I got sick last month. And then I was almost back to normal. I still couldn't like sing high notes. Um, and then this weekend, it escaped me again. And I was not even like using it overly much. Like it started going away yesterday morning. And then I went to a basketball game last night and I was trying to cheer, but my voice was like not great. And now it's even worse. <laughs> and now I have a meeting in four minutes. This is such a chaotic start to this one. I logged on this morning and I didn't think I had any meetings and then there was something that someone added to my calendar last night. So now I have to join this meeting that I am not super prepared for because it's last minute, but that's okay. Um, and I sound like this. I think it's getting a little, oh my God. I think it's getting a little bit better as I continue to speak. So this is good warm up for me. And I'm like trying to get ready in 10 minutes. Happy Monday. I also need to like, run a straightener through my hair really quick. I don't know what I'm doing. I started off this morning so like intentional and relaxed and calm. Like I literally did a meditation on the Calm app and now I'm like, I got free access to the Calm app from my work. Like it's one of our wellness benefits, which is so nice. And I wanna start using it. I literally used like a bedtime um, relaxation thing last night before I went to sleep and it was so nice and the meditation this morning was great and it's just a good way i want to be like more mindful and present and practice more meditation this year so um the calm app is helping me with that this is not sponsored i literally just got up from work <laughs> all right how am i going to speak in this meeting and not oh no i only have two minutes okay everyone say a prayer for me because like what the hell is the start to this week it might have to be a headband day and by my i mean definitely Happy Monday. Several bad puns later. I'm afraid to speak. Now that I'm all ready and like got ready for that meeting, um, which was really good, it turned out to be like almost two and a half hours, which I didn't realize <laughs> when I accepted the meeting like 15 minutes before. It was productive though and good and it was like a good way to start off my week. I honestly like starting off my week with a meeting because um, I feel like it just gets me on the right foot. I felt so bad because every time I spoke up, I was like, you guys, I'm so sorry you have to listen to me speak. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. It's been a while since I went to a coffee shop to work. I didn't end up going anywhere last week, but I already feel like this week is going to be 10 times more productive than last week now that we're like actually back into the swing after the holiday lag, which is good because I need to like get a lot more done. Um, so I have a little like weekly to-do list that I made on Notion. I'm trying to like, get into a rhythm of being consistent with what I use on Notion because it is a really useful tool 
for getting organized, but I've kind of like hopped around between different templates. So I'm finally like trying to get into doing a weekly one that feeds into my to-do list and kind of just like keeping it a little more streamlined. So maybe once I get into that, like and feel good about it, I'll share that with you guys. My meeting was pretty much all morning and then I just ate some food and now it's like 12.40 and I'm gonna head to a coffee shop for the afternoon. So um, it's still cold out, but it's a little bit warmer today. It's like 40s. I think I might wear this guy again just because she's fun and I'm wearing all black, so it works. Anyway, I'm gonna go somewhere like downtown Brooklyn. Happy Monday. Mine's been off to a bit of a chaotic start, but um, I definitely have a few tasks that I want to knock out today. What was that? I'm gonna stop talking so you guys don't have to listen to this and I need to save my voice more. Um, but let's go get some work done somewhere else. Testing, testing. Oh my god, okay, I sound much better than I was expecting. I was asking on Instagram, I posted a story yesterday and mentioned that I lost my voice and people are giving me tips which was so helpful and I appreciated it. I have some throat coat tea here that my friend dropped off um, when I was sick, which is so nice and I didn't drink all of it. I also added vanilla oat milk, so that makes it a little sweeter. Drinking this instead of coffee this morning, I have a meeting in 20 minutes. It's like our all staff. So, I'm gonna have to talk in front of everyone. Also, one of the tips was steam, and I was like, oh, I have my humidifier that I use every night, but it's pretty small, and honestly, like, I don't notice that much of a difference with it. So, I'm wondering if it's, I need it, like, closer to my bedside or something, because I have it on the opposite um, nightstand. But then I was like, wait a second, I have a facial steamer that's, like, produces much more steam than the humidifier does. So I brought it out this morning and I haven't used it in a while. I've had it in my bathroom. I got it from Vanity Planet a few years ago. Um, and honestly, I forgot just like how luxurious and nice it is. And I definitely want to work that into my skincare routine because I honestly, I was just like reading and doing my normal morning routine but with the steamer on. And it made my skin feel so nice and it felt so hydrated. Even though I know heat isn't necessarily good for dry skin, but something about the steam really just like I don't know, it was good. Um, and I tried like talking while uh, the steam was coming in because steam is good for your, you know, vocal cords. So I think that helped. Um, so we're on the right track. And yeah, I've just been really liking this like extra self-care morning routine that I've been trying to implement. Um, I did another meditation this morning. I'm loving that app, you guys. Um, I used another like go to sleep meditation last night and I fell asleep in the middle of it. The morning meditation this morning was so interesting it was i think it was a quote from a poem or something he used but it was like kiss the moment as it flies away like kiss the joy as it flies away as in like moments of joy are fleeting and they'll fly away so like kiss it while you have it kind of thing um which i really liked i mean i'm not as eloquent as the meditation man on the app <laughs> did my meditation did my facial steaming reading my book the nonfiction book i'm reading right now is originals by adam grant i want to say um, and it's about how like extraordinary people who like revolutionize thinking or technology or anything um, it's like how they operate and how they're really just normal people and they're not these like you know geniuses I'm trying to warm up my voice and I feel like it's getting worse yeah I have a few meetings today and I have a lot of work that I need to get through so it needs to be a good focused day um, I'll probably stay here just because of a meeting having a productive Tuesday so cheers to that later now I've had two out of three of my meetings today I put on this freaky bowl jacket over this even though it looks weird I'm just cold coffee's waking me up but yeah we had our all staff meeting and then I had a little meeting with our research assistant that's helping with the research that I'm doing which is good and 
now I'm getting some work done before my next call at once. Such a cozy, like gray, cold day. I think it's gonna rain later. There's actually flood watch warnings. <laughs> you know when you look at the weather and it's like, I don't see it. <laughs> like, I don't get the vision. It doesn't look like it's gonna be flooding later. Yeah, it says high wind warning, okay by 6 p.m. So I'll be staying inside. I was gonna do a leg workout last night because I said my resolution was like to do a leg workout every Monday, but I just had way too much I had to do. <laughs> I had like YouTube work that I had to catch up on and I didn't realize um, some deadlines that I had that I needed to submit things. So I got that done and then, um, I don't know, I still am like struggling with my balance of, I think it's just, I have to, embrace that this is just a busy month in terms of I'm trying to balance like work obviously with social media work and moving like it's just a lot and I wish I could spend all my time not wish but I could spend all my time like fully focused on the moving process but I have other responsibilities now is as good a time as any to give you guys the big update as far as moving, since I mentioned it, last week, if you saw my vlog, I applied for an apartment and I was approved. And so I have a place to live. <laughs> it's not as fun to announce it with my voice like this. I have an apartment in DC. Well, it's in Arlington, Virginia, so close to DC. My lease starts two days before this lease ends. So I have that weekend overlap where I'm gonna move. I am gonna call the movers later today and work out details with them. I said last week that I was gonna wait and see, um, but I was actually approved the next day after I applied. It was so much easier than applying for an apartment in New York. Like I forgot how ridiculously insane the application process is in the city. I was approved on Friday. I didn't say it in the vlog because I was like, I'm gonna wait till next week, but I was so excited um, and it's just such relief after it's been almost a month that i've been like actively searching it just feels so nice to like know where i'm gonna live decide on a place stop refreshing all these pages and go back and forth and stress about it i'm so excited to show you guys the place i have a video of a similar unit because it's one of the three that i toured in person in dc that i talked about so if you go back and watch my dc vlog from december um i give three different tours and one of those is where i'm living so I'm stoked about it. I'm not gonna say which one. I mean, they're all like, they look the exact same in those videos anyway. So like, you don't really care. I need to get back to work, but I just wanted to give that exciting update that I got an apartment and it's all like actually coming together. And usually I procrastinate so much worse than this. Um, so I'm feeling good about this. I mean, I still have to start the moving process. I've started collecting boxes, like things I've gotten in the mail instead of recycling the boxes. I'm starting to keep them, but they're kind of taking up space. So I need to figure out <laughs> that, but um, this week I it's on my list to make a list <laughs> to like make my moving plan um, because this is what I did last time I moved and it was so helpful. Like a few weeks before, just set out like week by week what I'm gonna do. Like this week I wanna focus more on clearing things out, going through my closet, donating clothes, um, getting rid of things that I don't need anymore. I'm also just like, I have so many thoughts about this that I can talk about at a later date. I feel like because I'm finally moving into a one bedroom apartment where I'm gonna have space to put things, I can actually like be more intentional about my furniture, which sounds silly and stupid, but I've had this freaking Ikea bed frame that doesn't even have a headboard, I know, um, for since I moved to DC in 2017, <laughs> which is not that crazy to have a bed frame for six years, like, oh wow. Um, but when it's Ikea and it's been falling apart for the last three years, I've kept it though and justified it because it has these drawers underneath it that it's like it's pretty much my dresser and so I have so many clothes stuff underneath it which is part of the reason why it broke. It like serves the purpose and I don't have the space to have an actual dresser. I'm just ready to get rid of this Ikea furniture that I've had since I moved to DC which is my desk too. Um, don't love it. I'm just excited to like actually put effort more into this apartment. I don't need to get into this now it's just the all of the thoughts now that I have a place and I have a unit and it is mine. It's so exciting to think about all of the fun things to come. I've been watching like other people's moving vlogs to get excited and I'm just really looking forward to it and I can't wait to show you guys the place. I'm gonna be the first person to live in it with the renovations. Oh my God, I'm moving two weeks from the Saturday, so like two and a half weeks. Ah, that's so freaking soon. I'm also making progress on my to-do list in New York of things that I wanna 
just do for fun before I move because today the Broadway week tickets went on sale and my friend and I successfully secured tickets to Hamilton next week. I'm so excited. I've never seen it live, even though I'm obsessed with it. So I'm very excited to see it finally. They're two for one. So it's like $100 for what would normally be like 220. Feeling all sorts of excitement for the future. Speaking of the future, I need to work because that's in my future as well. The rest will be just boxes? Yes, I believe so. I'm, I'm not sure how many boxes I'm going to take, but if you have a recommendation for, to start out with like I would a say small 20 studio. Boxes, 20? 20 boxes you're probably going to do between your kitchen, clothes, socks, underwear, books, bathroom stuff. I will go with 20. You think it's too much, too little? I think that sounds good. I also have a few small boxes here that I can use and I could always get more if I need you, but 20 sounds good. Okay, everyone. So since it's the top of 2024, the first couple weeks, I'm still always kind of ruminating on my goals and fleshing out what I want to focus on in each like quarter of the year. For me, that's always like checking in with my financial health, my financial goals more broadly, but also like my spending and reining it in for January. Thank you to Rocket Money for kindly sponsoring this video and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. I've talked about them before because I honestly think they're such a great way to just like get in check with your financial situation. Rocket Money really is the app to save more and just manage your money better, which is what we all could be doing in 2024. You'd be surprised at some of the subscriptions you forgot you signed up for. Like I recently found out that I was still paying for like a streaming service that I never watched. So I was able to go in and see those kind of like excessive spends that weren't really necessary to me anymore and cancel them right in Rocket Money. You guys know I'm also gearing up to move, which is an expensive endeavor. So I especially want to be even more mindful of my spending going into that and everyone has their own financial goals whether that's like saving to buy a house for you or you're you know trying to pay off certain debts this personal finance app lets you manage your subscriptions lower your bills build a custom budget grow your savings all in one place they just have tools that i didn't even know you could do that are so smart like just by uploading a picture of your bills they can help you negotiate lower bills and negotiate with your phone company your internet just by tapping a few buttons anytime is a good time to kind of get in control of finances but especially at the beginning of the new year so try it today with rocket money go to rocketmoney.com slash christy vetter to get started for free that's rocketmoney.com slash christy vetter to get started for free and then you can also unlock even more features with premium it's the end of the day now i think my voice is like getting back to normal i'm drinking pre-workout i just logged off of work it's 5 30 and I'm gonna go and try and get my leg workout in. I was honestly shook when I went to the gym last week at this time. It was not as busy as I thought it would be for the first week of January. I made the mistake of wearing my hokas last week to the gym when I was doing legs. And it's great for when I'm warming up on the treadmill and walking. Um, but they're so supportive that it's not very good for leg workouts. So I'm wearing my NMDs, which are more flat. But I think I need a new pair that are just like training kind of shoes. This will be good for the meantime. Cheers. Midnight. It's now dark outside as we can see and I don't think I've spoken on the vlog today But I pretty much I mean I just worked from home and it was very typical like me Trying to get stuff done. It was pretty productive nothing to write home about um so I guess that's why I wasn't vlogging, but now I'm coming to this point where I'm two and a half weeks away from my move, right? So it's a bit of like a weird spot of I'm still gonna be here too long to like start packing the bulk of things. So I'm not quite ready to pack. I also don't have like a full arsenal of boxes. I have a few boxes that I've saved, but not like good chunk of them. So I'm trying to every single day do at least like one task at this point that can contribute to my move. So yesterday it was, I had my call with my movers and kind of like appraising everything that I need moved and like sorting out details with them so that was good and then today i think what i'm gonna do is start my closet clean out um, because this is something that i can do 
prior to actually moving and these are like things that I'll want to clear out and not even bother taking all the way down to DC. A good chunk of these are work clothes, like I don't reach for them that often, but it's because they're for like a niche purpose and that's like an office setting which I'll be using more once I'm there. So, I don't know. I want to be honest with myself and be like, okay, but I know that I might not have reached for this as much in the last year because work clothes, but what's something that I actually will use in the future versus like it's just taking up space. I have this bag started down here from months ago that I just never took to Goodwill as we all have. And <laughs> I simply need to make it a daily routine. Like I think I'm gonna force myself as like a lunchtime get out of the apartment task to take a bag of clothes or something, not even just clothes, but other things for donation every lunchtime um, because it just needs to happen. I don't personally love closet clean out content. I know that a lot of people do and a lot of people do entire videos about it. It just doesn't really do anything for me. So I don't know how much of this I'm gonna film for you guys because I suck at it and I'm such a like natural, oh, but what if one day I wear this even though I haven't in two years kind of person. Over the next few days, I'll go through all the clothes that are in the bed frame which I told my movers that I'm moving a mattress and no bed frame. So I'm committed to leaving this thing behind, but I need to figure out what I'm gonna do about a new one. I feel like I wore this skirt a lot in like 2019, but I don't know, it's just not really my style of maxi skirt anymore. But the brand is Pistola, which is a good brand, so I feel like I shouldn't. See, this is how my brain works when I try and do this. Pulling it out as a maybe. This is like a 2017, Shein piece. So this has got to go. This black shirt I honestly held on to for so long. I used to wear this all the time in college. Um, but honestly, it's tearing. I got it from a cute boutique in California, but like, I just, I don't wear this anymore. So. This dress, I feel like it's kind of cute in theory with like the, what's it called, ditzy floral. Um, but it's just too big and doesn't fit right, so I never actually reach for it. Pleather maxi. It looks weird on, gotta go. This is going like, okay. I don't think I'm getting rid of as much as I hoped to, but whatever, you know, we'll do a first pass. We'll come back to it and do a second pass. What is up you guys? It is Thursday now. It's the end of the morning. I need to find a better rhythm of like my work week in my life content. I feel like the moving stuff is so much more exciting to talk about and share with you guys and give updates on. So um, that's like what I've been doing mostly. But this morning I crossed a big to do off. I officially like signed my agreement with my movers and got them booked and I'm getting, well, I still have like other paperwork to do um, as far as like certificate of insurance and coordinating with my building and stuff. Weight off my chest. I mean, I already was talking to them earlier this week, but just like having it all finalized and agreed upon. And I'm working with Roadway Moving again, which I love them, you guys. They are the ones that moved me into this apartment. And honestly, like they did nothing wrong. They could do no wrong. I'm obsessed with them. They're gonna drop off wardrobe boxes day of, or like we're gonna pack the wardrobe boxes when they're here moving me. So I don't really have to touch my closet or anything as long as it all fits in there. Um, and then they're dropping off 20 boxes for me next week. So I'll have those like a week and a half in advance to start packing. I'm actually gonna go into Notion right now and check that off. This morning I've just been like working on some research stuff for work. Well, it's like getting towards lunchtime. I'm gonna eat something and then go drop off the clothes that I put in the bag last night. I also realized that I haven't been, like I didn't take out that many things from my closet in my clean out just because I've been kind of continuously going through it throughout the year because <laughs> I need the hangers. So every time I get something that I need to hang up new, um, I take something out that I want to donate. So I've been kind of like on top of it this year, which is good. So that was less of a task, but I think like going through the drawers under my bed is going to be more painful. I don't know. I feel like I'm just, everything's going so smoothly with the moving planning and everything so far that I'm kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop. Knock on wood. Got some shoes in here and my bag of clothes and honestly like this is all I could take. 
I could do something else in my other arm, but I just, I know that I'd be struggling. I really should have like a rolling cart or something that I could take to the donation spot. But this is what we're working with. Let's go. Bundled up, ready to go um, into the cold. It's hard to like walk to a workout when it's dark outside already, but this is what we do in the winter. Got my yoga mat back there, then my yoga towel and my water, and I think that's all I need. Hot yoga time. First hot yoga of 2024, which I want to start doing more regularly again. Let's go. Like a glazed tomato after that, but that was very nice. Much needed. It actually went by so fast. Um, but yeah, I could have used like another 30 minutes of shavasana. <laughs> Can't be all all this. Noticing the exhale. Perhaps you can feel the cool air coming in through the nostrils, chest and stomach expanding. It's Friday. We made it to the end of the week. Um, it's honestly been a good week. Like I feel like, relatively speaking, my start to the year work-wise has been great. I have some more things on my to-do list that I need to complete today to round out the week. The hot yoga class last night was so nice. Restorative, refreshing, all of the re-words. Um, I definitely want to go back again before I move because I was thinking and I posted this on Instagram I love Y7 so much as a yoga studio and I know it's not like the most traditional yoga studio They play like pop hip-hop music and it's very upbeat up tempo for yoga Without being like a yoga sculpt class at Core Power So I asked on Instagram if people had recommendations of yoga studios in the DC area and most of the responses were just core power, which is fine. Like I do really like core power. DM me on Instagram if you guys have um, good recs of yoga in the DMV area. I'm making coffee. I know that this is misleading because this is a collagen container. But this is where I keep my coffee grounds after I've already ground them up. Um, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna work from here for the morning. And then at lunchtime, I'm gonna head into Soho. And my friend and I are gonna go to this new bookstore, wine, coffee shop. We're gonna have a good ass Friday. Also you guys, I've taken the week, it's honestly taking me longer than I planned. I've taken the week to look over the lease agreement for my new apartment and I also sent it to my dad to look over cause like he's a landlord and knows these things really well. Just to make sure everything was good, no red flags. I'm about to sign the lease. So it's official, official. I'm about to click finish and sign the lease. So here we go. I just thought I'd film this moment just because it's exciting. Even though you can't see the screen and you're like, okay. There it is. Done. Another big check off the list this week. It's also longer than a year. So I really hope I like it. They offer different rents for different lease terms, which is normal. Um, but the 12 month lease was more expensive than a 16 month lease. And I was like, you know what? This is kind of like, it could be a good thing if I love it and want to stay because then I'm locked into this price for an extra four months that I wouldn't be with a 12 month lease um, instead of them like potentially raising the rent after 12 months. So I was like, you know what? This makes sense. And we're gonna put our bets on that we're gonna like it, but it's fine. <laughs> Not the voice betraying me again. I'm gonna start my work day and get to where I left off yesterday and have like really focused few hours before I take a break to head into Manhattan. Now I'm ready to head out. Um, I just put on a pretty simple outfit. I'm wearing black sweater with black jeans and these are my hidden jeans, the sweater from a boutique in Oregon. I'm wearing nude booties from Target with my ivory puffer, they kind of match. So that's good. And sunglasses, cause it's actually sunny outside. And now we're gonna go to the bookstore. I have a feeling it's gonna be absolutely packed and I'm not gonna be able to sit. Um, and I'm getting there before her. So 
we'll see but i really hope to check it out so we'll at least go inside and i'm bringing my bag that fits my laptop and everything by molly and lily from nordstrom let's go I just realized I didn't really wrap up the vlog so that's what we're doing really quick I think it's been kind of long so I'm gonna keep it to a minimum but bibliotech was so cute it was packed I was not surprised honestly um, it was hard to find a seat I did find one and then luckily someone left before my friend got there so she was able to sit next to me um, and the coffee was expensive but the vibes were great <laughs> So like summary of any place in New York City. Yeah, definitely would recommend. Um, maybe like try and go early if you want a good spot. And after work wrapped up, we went to Lure Fish Bar. I've never been there, but it's so cool, you guys. It's literally like designed like you're inside a boat. Like it's slightly set underground. So well decorated and like the warm wood and the lighting and everything. So cute. So we got sushi and it was delicious. Want to get to sleep early and just read and relax and have a chill Friday night. Good day, good week, honestly. I'm feeling super accomplished wrapping up this week and like moving wise, work wise. Yeah, I'm just in a good place and feeling really grateful. Tomorrow marks two weeks countdown to me moving. I'm feeling on track, so that's good. Okay, thanks for watching this vlog. Love you guys so much. Subscribe if you're not yet, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok, where I'll be posting more in real time, especially during the move, if you want to be up to date on what's going on, and probably see my place first on Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next vlog next week. Bye. What was that? A little wave.